What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to Muse Thursdays. Hope you guys are having a good day. Matt, the whole crew, Muse, awesome. You guys, the fans, you're also awesome. I love you guys. Muse is such a classic band. You seriously can never deny. I hope you guys are having a good day and if not, I hope I could bring some sort of positive light to your day because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You are a warrior. You are a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you do got this. You're awesome. You're unique in every single way. Guys, I love you all. Try to stay strong. I know it's easier said than done. But you do got this. Bro fist. High five. You got this, guys. You do. Now, today's request, if I may, Provisos. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's P R O E V O I S A C E 7. I like it, I just don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, but you wanted me to check out uh, Muscle Museum from the same gig as Showbiz. I don't even want to waste too much time. I want to go ahead and dive right in. Check the links in my description, guys. You won't regret it. Hey, Ozzy. This next song is uh, the second oldest song we're playing today. I like the crowd reaction already. I was on the cover, I should take a pen on the other side. I take it this is a very popular song by them that I never knew about. It's over getting into something here. One hundred percent, I cannot tell what they're saying in most of the lyrics. I love the audience coming in already. I mean, I love when the audience comes in as is on most songs, but like you can tell when they're really, really passionate about it, and it's just a, a song that's a band can have many singles and many songs that just resonate with a lot of people, but you know when there's just that one song that basically everybody's like. Yeah! I heard the rhythm in the very beginning and I'm like, why do I feel like I remember this song somehow? I don't know the lyrics, but I feel like I know it somehow and just the way the audience is. I feel, I, I literally, I don't even recognize the name of the song, but I really want to say that somehow, somewhere in my past, I've heard this song and I liked it. I just, for whatever reason, I blocked it out. Don't ask me why. I just, something happened, this or that, whatever, but... I don't know, it's weird, but I already love it one way or another. I definitely, I'm trying really hard to keep up with the lyrics. But I can't tell what he's saying, especially when the audience sings it. I can, but I do love that feeling. All right, let's get into it again. I'm sorry.
<laughs> yeah, I should have paused a little bit ago. Yep, I'm gonna get copyrighted for that. Son of a I knew I should have paused a little right there and then, I knew, but I didn't. Copyright's gonna hate me. Yes, even for a live performance, I love the multicam format that they did. I literally 100%, I can't tell if this is literally just a fan made video, but like a bunch of. Oh, here we go, it actually says in the description. Check out the original videos without them, this video wouldn't exist. They and Muse own everything in this video. This is just a fan project. So Muse knew about this is what you're saying, 100%. By the way, this profile is Alex Muse 160 F. Al Muse. Alex Music 160 F. I'll put the link in. Well, I'm gonna put the link to the original video in the description so you'll get to look at this guy's channel. But what I'm getting at is essentially Muse gave you permission, like a bunch of different fans, like a few different a handful of fans permission to film the show in this particular song or maybe even more than that but they gave permission to film some part of the show and you basically just edited all of this into one music video for muscle museum or so i literally cannot talk right now some of you don't believe how weird i am but i'm really just i'm, I'm trying to like string words together as i go each and every day every moment that i live i'm trying to string stuff together but they made a fan video from the show. I like it. They did a good job, honestly. Like, really, really good job. I really respect it. Well done to all that have filmed it. Well done to the editing. Every single part of that. I mean, I know it's not an official music video, but, like, you really did a good job with this. I gotta look up the lyrics, because that's gonna drive me nuts. That really slayed, dude. Like, and just at the, especially at the end there, like, I don't even know how to express like the song started so good because I obviously spoke about like I feel like I recognize the song like I don't actually know it but I feel like I recognized it like it started out good it had that nostalgic feel I didn't understand the lyrics but I liked it but then obviously as it built up Matt did this higher voice and kind of all the instruments just came together like you could easily tell the drums kick into higher gear like he went from just a simple to just, he was smashing the drums and Matt's wailing on the guitar. I've been freaking wailing. Dude, he, whatever that little thrash he did was, that was easily one of those moments. It just like, I appreciate the fan video. I appreciate whoever recorded it, put it on YouTube. You're to so like, let the rest of us get to like, see that to some extent. But on another hand, stuff like that, you really want to see in person because like you think it's awesome on video imagine actually experiencing that live like that right there what we just watched especially the climax of the song the climax alone imagine seeing that live mad respect to those of you that actually got to witness that firsthand i'm jealous i'm 100 i am jealous of all of you i'm not going to be like mad like i hate you guys i resent you but i admit i'm jealous like i i wish i could have seen that i want to see them live that is seriously awesome let's look up the lyrics she had something to confess to but you don't have the time she looked the so look the other way you will wait until it's over to reveal that what like, you've never shown her to reveal what you never shown her too little too little much too late too Nice uh, voice crack there, right? Too long trying to resist it. You've just gone and missed it. It's escaped your world. Can you see that I am needing and begging for so much more than you could ever give? And I don't want you to adore me. Don't want you to ignore me. When it pleases you, yeah, and I'll do it on my own. I have played in every to I have played in every toilet, but you still want to spoil it to prove I've made a big mistake. Too long trying to resist it. You've just gone and missed it. It's escaped your world. Can you see that I am needing making for so much more? So I'm gonna be honest, that kind of confuses me a little bit. I want to say that I know what it's about. Let's just look at the song facts here. Bellamy explained the song's meaning to uncut. It's about how different elements of our being, the soul, the body, whatever, won't let another element do what it wants to do. It's about the conflict of not quite knowing what it is you want. 
not just relationship wise. See, dang it, I wanted to say relationship again. I actually wanted to come out and say something about a toxic relationship or relationship at all, but I second guessed myself. I say relationship too much, I wanted to say it myself, and this time it could relate to the band as well about how there are still people who not who will knock you down even though you are down already. The title does not appear in the lyric. After putting together the song, band members of Muse had a hard time finding a name for it, so they opened the dictionary and took one word before the word Muse and one word after it, thus the name Muscle Museum. Interesting. In this song, a guy feels he is not getting back what he is putting into a relationship. The lyrics seem rather personal as Matthew Bellamy sings about playing in every toilet, which refers to the shaky places Muse had to play in Devon when they were when they were an emerging band. So in a way this is literally about inner conflict, whether you want to talk about a relationship or your own self. I want to say talking about inner demons, but it's more or less inner conflict, like you're still fighting yourself. I mean, you could still say demons, I would say, but literally more or less just fighting your own inner conflict, whether you're in a relationship or not. Like, sick song though, just absolutely sick, so awesome. They did a good job with it, I gotta say. Seriously, I don't even know how to explain just what I heard. I mean, the guitar, the drums, Matt's insanely high-pitched voice, just every single element that you could possibly imagine, minus an orchestra, but seriously, like, they made it, they managed to escalate into something high energy and just exciting, thrilling, fun, a little bit of thrash, if you will. I mean, I personally say a little bit of thrash. Obviously, there's no thrash metal in there, but like just the, just the level of rock that they got to, but like not so intense of rock. It's got a high excitement level of energy, you know? And to be talking about the internal conflict of people, seriously, wow. I mean, certainly, Never mind the fact that I'm wearing a Metallica shirt, Muse kicks ass. Like they just do. Part of my French. Well done. I freaking, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I love that. I freaking loved it. You guys in the comments, you let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always remember, my name is Jeff. Pef Junkies Unites. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.